Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Uh, some hello. Of the yeah, I think it was causing some of the problems. Uh, let me let me play with audio levels. Hello, uh, Nakara. Do you want to speak for a sec? Hello, uh, my name is Nakara, and I'm now speaking. Um, I hope you all uh, enjoy our show today. It's oh, just the two of us turn, because Shiver turn this off uh, for a second. Shiver sta strapped himself into a uh, steel box and flew in the air for 15 hours. And so he is... And survived. Uh, he's he just survived. this side of dead, so he needs yeah. some recovery time. Uh, hey, Fastcart. Hey, Donwalk. Hey, Sargareth. Hey, Citizen. Uh, before we get too far into this. Thankfully bereft is the thripperwill, behooven and becloven betwixt, the dram-spangled cloves of the bespoken, the humans and all of their shits. For one of the humans has spoken, Nakara and all of his guilt, the other bespoken and broken, David, that quite other shit. Welcome to Relay Station, let's talk Star Citizen. Here we go. That's about right. Yep. Seems legit. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the intro for today. I don't care. You can I like it. You can, you know, bring up your complaints and send them to uh Jake at Capella CIG. Um sure. yeah. yeah. Hey Sargareth, how's it going? Uh we're gonna just I I don't know. I think we're just gonna get right into it. Yeah, just chat. Yeah, and maybe we'll yeah. maybe we'll play some Star Citizen later if we if I, we're really I, out of time. I think we will, but I think we'll just we'll we'll boot up. We we missed two weeks. Yep. Sorry, no, because we had we a Jake missed, on. We missed last week talking about Star Citizen because we were talking about Jake instead, um, which uh, it was really lovely having Jake back on last week because Jake is inside Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally, and uh, Jake actually. Gave us a nice gave gave relay a nice shout out on uh, Star Citizen Live, which was was really nice. That was very made nice. Me, it made me feel happy. Yeah, it was cool to see him on that. It was cool to see him on that stream. I don't know why, but he looked really young on that on the stream to, yesterday. I don't know if it was like a I, filter, if he was really bright in his room. I don't know what was going on. I there. was looking up some of like our early shows with Jake. <laughs> Ah, Man, Jake was he was a baby. Yeah. He was a wee little baby. Yeah. Yeah. They were sure they were so young. They were so young. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Back when I back when I had a lot less gray hair. Yes. <laughs> yes, me too. Um anyway, mm. Jake Jake's lovely and uh you should go watch uh Star Citizen Live. It's all about the community team. Which uh, is honestly, it's really important. It's it's again, CIG have been doing this for a long time, but it's really nice that CIG highlight all the different teams throughout the company because the community team are responsible for everything that we see, and uh, they make that pretty. Jake made that pretty evident on our show last week, and uh, the community team makes it pretty evident on Star Citizen Live this week. So go check those out. Anyway. That means that we didn't talk about Inside Star Citizen last week, so we're going to do that now. I don't actually Sounds remember. I, I legitimately don't remember what last week's was. Wait, was it uh, this? It was, nine, it was about Nine Tails. That, that's this week's. Was, was last week's not something else? Oh, yeah, else? No, this one, no, yeah, you're right. This one, this this week's is Nine, like, nine, blah, 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 nine Tails. The previous one was about uh, illicit delivery. Right, 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 right. I'm not sure if I've got the right one up here. Yeah, I do. Wait, no, I don't. Okay, here we go. No, it is. Okay, it's the right one. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, I believe this was um, CIG talking about how they're 
trying to make uh, combat beacons make a bit more sense and be a bit more um, understandable. Because right now, if you take a combat beacon, unless you know the different pricing schemes, you don't really know what you're getting yourself into. So <laughs> CIG have some some planned ways of understanding the difficulty and understanding like cleaning up the, the mission system, which needs to happen. Because right now, uh, the mission system isn't very friendly to new players. Let's be honest, yeah. none of Star Citizen is friendly to new players right now. No, and I would argue, nor should it be. But, uh, or at least it's understandable that it's not. It's but hopefully, we, hopefully it works its way there soon. I... And I know that people people are going to disagree with me on this one, but Star Citizen had a lot of time where it was able to be not friendly to new players because there weren't too many new players. But if you look at the number of new people that have signed up to Star Citizen, especially yep. this year, I'm sorry, it's time to get over that. Oh, I absolutely, um, and but but they to be it should be noted. They and are. they are, they are, yeah, and that's oh. good. But it's like they have a whole. It team. is, it's time. It is. More they were than actually time. saying on the they were saying on the I think it was on the SCL this week that they just stood up the the player experience team at CIG. Yep. And in the last month, they've hired eleven or twelve people that are all backers. Um, yeah. And they're all helping to work on that which is really important because uh, they heard 11 even, or 12 people in a month even even before the show lot. before the show i was like hey hey eric where do i go to buy a backpack because i don't know the game doesn't explain like it there, nothing's explained nothing's shown to you and yeah. While while Star Citizen isn't as bad as um, Eve, I still think like I tried Eve a long, long time ago, and it killed itself for me because it was just at the time Eve, anyway. Eve tries to explain itself, but it's just extremely complicated. Yeah, like even and, worse than Star Citizen. Yeah, so Star Citizen needs the new new player experience, and I'm really glad to hear that they're working on it, and I'm. I can't wait to see what it's going to uh, entail, especially if they're focusing on, like... One of my worries is, I think in, in Star Citizen Live this week, it was mentioned that they're focusing on, like... Or, at some point this week, it was mentioned that, that they're focus, focusing on, like, clarifying the first, like, 30 minutes of gameplay, which is is great and all, but that first 30 minutes is just you waking up and getting out of your bed and down to the lobby... Like, can they clarify getting into your ship and flying to places? I think and... that I think they mean more than, more than just getting down to the lobby. I'm um, joking, but um, no, a lot of this will come along pretty good. Um, obviously, like they're not doing any work on the contract manager right now, and why are they not? Because they're redoing the entire Moby Glass from the ground up. Um, but when that's in. Like it'll it'll come along a lot faster. Yeah. So yeah, um, but it's all coming it's been, along. It, it's been getting better and better. Um, but I almost it's really hard for me to even fathom. I want to I want to sit down with one of the people I know who haven't played in a long time and actually see how they do. Because it's hard for me. I've been here forever. I know not everything, but I know a lot about the game. So it's but, not. Do you like, remember? That hard. Do you remember like a couple months ago, you and I were on Soul Citizens, and and look, we've got a weekly podcast about Star Citizen, and neither of us knew that you could speed up quantum travel by buying different quantum like drives. quantum drives, right? Like neither of us knew that that was in. That's that's. I know that we're not the most, uh, you know, we don't play all the time, but come on. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sort of with you there on that, though. Wait, this says that you shiver. I should change that. <laughs> ah, I'm going to leave it. I don't care. Um, 
I've been shiver before. I can be shiver again. It's true. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I wanted to say that I've got, I've got a couple of people that backed when I backed in, you know, October 2012 that uh, have played the game, like, maybe twice. I think the last time one of them tried was, like, I don't know, 2.3, 2.4. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a whole different universe now. Or, no, I think he might have tried 3.1 or 3.2, maybe. But, like, still a long time ago. Even then, like, the game hasn't played, it didn't play well until after 3.7. When did mining come in? Uh, just a moment. Uh, uh, it's been in for a while. Um, yeah. Just a second here, I can find it. Also, while we're looking uh, that up, hey everyone in chat, how are you doing? You're all so quiet. Hello, everybody. Um, was it the same time the prospector was added to the game? Good. No. Glad you're doing great, Stucky. Great is gooder than good. Hmm. Uh, patch history, that's what I was looking for. I mean, it, oh. it doesn't oh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter when it came, but uh one of my friends the last time they played was when mining came in. Which I remember because we went to try mining, and uh, oh, they I'm blew sure up. The, they blew up. A, no, it's just he he blew up a rock bes with me beside it, and I got flung into the stratosphere, my corpse, which was funny. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, and I I I want to like try and bring them back. A couple of these people, some that have tried it, some that have never tried it. But I'm I'm still waiting for the right patch the right time i don't yeah, think i would i would wait until after like we, there's some huge changes coming soon yeah i would wait until after like the new renderer is in when's um, that this year one eight or one nine uh well they haven't specified particularly they started that work well they started the gen 12 work in 317 which is why we got the big boost in frames yeah um I think they're hoping to have everything done with the render this year and then switch to Vulcan next year is the plan. I'm I'm basically um, weighing I'm basically weighing like I, I need to see how three point one eight is. And yeah, with this see in okay October. Yeah. Yeah. Is is this the patch or do we wait until next year three point one nine? Yeah. You know. Um but but I'm excited. It gets coming. It's just there's there's a few big yeah. pieces. Yeah. And if you've waited this long, it might be fun to blow their minds by waiting until like Pyro is in. Pyro. That's that's sort of what I'm <laughs> thinking. Like if I have to wait another what? Year? Another year? Is until it a big loss? Everything is, until everything is like Pyro's in and everything's settled down and there's actually a version of Pyro on live and everything, you know. And and more game loops and persistence yeah. and Well better, Salvage like, should be in well though Salvage is coming in in October, so yeah, it'll be in. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just I'm I'm weighing that where do oh. I try and reintroduce people, you know? Well, and physicalized cargo, which is enormous to the game. Yeah. Um is is in three eighteen as well. That's the thing, so. like three eighteen is going to be massive. 319 yep. is going to be massive. Massive. And we have no idea what's coming after that. We don't even know if there is a 319. They might call 319 4. I hope they call it 4. If if 319 has pyro in it, they'll call it 4.0, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, what else was there in this episode? Oh, there was uh the Manchester office is being built. They are Which is awesome. The amount of expansions CIG are undergoing is crazy and awesome, and possibly, actually, you know what? We should talk about uh, 
What are they at right now, funding wise? Because I want to make my prediction. Give me, give me just a moment. Yeah. I, so, are you talking about the, t- this year or what? Yeah, so far this year. Uh, Carbide Edge. So far this year. Uh, don't joke like that. That's <laughs> not a joke. I don't like it. <laughs> it's probably correct, though. It is probably correct, but no. <laughs> um, okay, so. This year, they're at $51 million. It is June 11th. Yeah. So, someone was saying... Uh, actually, I think it was Darjanator was saying they're at 51 now, which, if everything scales, puts them at like $134 million for the year. Oh, that's... Which, they're taking into account the uh, the big sales at the end of the year? Yeah. Which yeah. which they've never surpassed 100 in a year, Your number correct? surpassed 86. 86. Um, I am putting out my bet right now. We've got six months left. There's six months left in the year. I'm I am placing my bet that in the next six months they'll get another hundred million. They will break 150 million this year. That's my that's my estimation. I'm writing this down. Okay, write it down. What do you all think? Uh, also, the Connie is garbage. But uh, what uh, what does everyone think? What does everyone else it. think? I'm I'm sh- I'm saying I'm gonna one fifty an extra two weeks. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say by the end of twenty twenty two. Well, yeah. This year, by by, you know, December thirty first this year. That would be really three, cool. Three is a good number, Sargareth. I think they can hit three dollars. Um. So let me take a look here. So one hundred and thirteen is a a reasonable guess. So. This time last year, they were at about $32 million, $33 million maybe. So, let's see. They made 86 mm. So... No, Sargareth, Price is Right is broken. I hate the closest without going over. Just the closest. All right, so that's what that's what they were saying is that um right. They're on track for 134 million right now. Um which is dead on the money. Yeah. So if you go by what they did last year and it, everything happened just scaled up because this year is so much uh, more successful. It'd be at 134 million dollars. So you're saying they make an extra 17 million on top of that. I'm saying they get 17 million over uh, what what it's predicting, and they hit 150. Okay, that's my prediction. I would be very excited if that happened. I'm not going to endorse your prediction because <laughs> I think you might be extending it a little bit too much. Um, but. Uh... I don't know, it's possible, especially if they manage to jam Pyro into December. Even even in PTU. If if 3.18 works persistence, and then 3.19 PTU Pyro, and we get some good ship announcements for, you know, end of the year, Citizen Con. You never know. I could see it happening. Anyway. Uh, let's also, move on to this. On, that, oh. on the note of making a whole bunch of money, um, Alien Week is coming up here, and yeah. uh, um, Mr. Lando, the Jared, teased that um, someone asked him why we haven't seen the Banu Merchantman in the past couple weeks. Well, yes, 
Apparently, they have like a 23 minute episode of Star Citizen Live coming up, which is basically just the Merchantman. So, Star Citizen Live or ISC? Sorry, no, ISC. My bad. Yeah. I, my bad. ISC. I keep messing up the. There's been too many shows over the years. It's, it's, it's true. They're all jammed in my head. Uh, yes, yeah. ISC. They have like a 22, 23 minute episode or something of, of ISC that is. Uh, Partially or possibly fully about the merchantman. Um, I I was discussing this in yeah. the relay Discord, and yes, the BMM is sexy. It's a great looking ship. I'm excited for it. But I feel like the BMM has the same problem as the Cutlass and the Carrick, in that its fans are completely bonkers rabid. Um Yeah, that's it. Just BMM really fans are, are completely bonkers rabid. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. <sighs> um, but I do have to. I have to say, like the the. I don't. I just don't. I don't really know what happened. Um. <laughs> I've always had theories, but the the when you look at this the funding curve, it's just unreal. Yeah, they went like twenty twenty was sixty five percent more than twenty nineteen. Twenty twenty was COVID crazy. Well, but obviously not all COVID because the next year went up instead of down. Well, it, it was, I think it was COVID and people had more, like, there was less to do, right? The only thing to do was stay at home and find ways to entertain yourself. And Star Citizen's a good way, actually is a good way to entertain yourself. It has become a good game. It's playable. Yep. And I, I think that had a lot to do with it. And and then it's it's... Um, it's exponential, right? Star Citizens, the entire, the last 10 years, Star Citizens' main way of growth has been word of mouth. It's been, that that's it. So you have a year like 2019 where you have an exponential growth in people that are exposed to Star Citizen. You will have that same exponential growth in the number of people talking about Star Citizen, whether it's social media or, you know, friends groups or whatever, more people equals more eyes on, and Star Citizen looks really, really good. Period. It's... Yep. Once you get people past the, oh, it's vaporware that has existed for 10 years, and they actually give it a chance and look at it and see, oh, shit, no, development's going really well, and they are pulling things off that are literally unimaginable in video games. Yep. You start you start to convert some people. And it's the only just started. Yeah. The whole like pulling <laughs> things off that you can't do in other ga in other games. Carbide, I I see what you're saying, but I'm lucky because I've got I'm I'm 10 years into my my stint as a government employee. I think I have to do, what is it, 30 or 35 years? I don't remember. What am I, no, I've got to do another, like, 20 years. I've got to do another 20 years in government before I get my pension and can retire. Which means that I should be retiring right about when the Endeavor hits Star Citizen. Yep, that's about right. And then I'll be retired, <laughs> and and we can we will you'll actually have someone to play with. <laughs> be <great>. Oh yeah, <laughs> nice shenanigans. Um, I like that. Okay, let's look at the nine tails and what the nine tails have got for us. Uh, Do they have nine tails? I don't know. I was wondering where that name comes from. I don't like the name, honestly. It. It makes me just think they're all cats. <laughs> I mean, cats would form a gang. Cats wouldn't form... Cats would form, like, a small... 
gang and then they'd end up killing each other and running off because cats cats don't like anyone true all true cats are assholes they're like yeah by the way that was coming from somebody who has a cat at least one cat maybe two cats three cats two cats two cats two cats, two cats. Two cats. And I wish I could get rid of them. <laughs> Cass and I are frequently oh, like, God. should we just, should we just leave the back door open, and just let them go? And we're like, no, we can't. That's not a responsible thing that responsible pet owners do. But man, I think about it on a daily basis. Every time they pee on my stuff. Yeah, that could happen. Yeah, pretty much. That's a pretty natural reaction to whenever anybody pees on your stuff. It's true. <laughs> I I have a 100% record of kicking out anyone that pees on my stuff from my house. <laughs> Except, Except for cats. cats. Except cats. Well, and now Lincoln, because... <laughs> this is this is what everyone comes to watch this show for, right? <laughs> yeah, Not talking about cool. Star Citizen. <laughs> I mean, there's really nice videos in the background. There are uh, pretty stuff. Um, I I haven't done almost any of the inverse events. The uh, game wasn't but, running well. My, I'll put it this way: my computer couldn't run the game well enough to actually participate before I got my new video card. Yeah, I I either had like just life that didn't really allow me to but I'm, I'm excited to do some of these events i'm excited to fight some nine tails honestly i want to kill some nine tails um i'm not going to be able to yeah, they're going to destroy me but uh it's cool i'm starting to realize that i should probably have a fighter ship and i don't i thought i i don't remember if i picked something up i think i did no i Maybe didn't I should, I, just, I should just rent one Yes. I thought I was going to pick up a Scorpius, but I didn't. Yeah, you were. You, you decided against it. I decided it against it. Have, yeah, Because it didn't have cargo space, I think, which is a pretty funny reason not to get a fair. Yeah, I mean, I've got my eye on. And, uh... It can pew pew. It, it can... It can... Yeah, as long as you can get a bead on whatever you're shooting. It, it's oh, sorry, it can, it can pew... Yeah. Pew. Pew. <laughs> Pew. Pew. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I really like the armor for these guys. I've been killing some of these guys in bunkers. Their purple yeah. armor is cool. Yeah. I agree. Also, I really liked um, this talk of fixing the trading consoles because i've only gone to a trading console a couple of times and i've hated every single trip to a trading console i've ever made um, they don't work yeah. they don't work and they don't tell you what's happening and it's like am i buying something or selling something do i have something to sell will you take what i'm trying to sell oh wait you, you won't take it then why is it listed in my stuff that i can sell oh this is actually stuff that I can buy. Ah! Anyway. Uh, fixes to this are going to be extremely good, especially since physicalized cargo is coming in. So, uh, yay! Yeah. Yeah, yeah the cargo system is going to need some uh, I'll be right some back love with physicalized cargo. It um, also looks pretty. Looks a lot prettier. I really can't wait. Oh, this, is, this stuff is so cool. Oh my god. What a great shot. I love the uh, Hull A. Look, here's it's so the thing. Pretty. It's, you, you, it's funny that you said that. Because I was off getting another uh, carbonated uh, grain beverage. Uh, because I love me some carbonated grain Oh my grain god, beverages. this looks so good. I didn't see this. You didn't see Man, it. I must. I must have been looking away. When, when the, yeah, it, it looks yeah. great, and it's like early mock-up. I'll take it. Um, this is cool. 
it's very low it's demand, low demand, mild demand. Love it. Uh, and this will plug into quantum, of course. Yeah. For anyone, for anyone wonder, one wondering, uh, Eric is watching at the same time you all are, but he's talking yeah, at the same I'm, time that I am, so he's delayed. Yeah, I am delayed. I'm sorry. I'm there's, sorry. There's no, there's no easier way to do oh. this unless I get better internet, which I'm going to. No, I, I think that, um, you know, it's funny because, um, I think that Soul Citizens showed me a way today. By the way, I was on Soul Citizens earlier today. Um, but um, I think they showed me a way earlier today how, how to do it. And that's that um, you also stream your screen, like screen share to Discord. Yes, and that's, I think I'll be able to do that next week. Once you have fiber, yeah. I'm getting, I'm supposed to get fiber on Monday. Uh, I've been severely hampered by, you know, 10 up this entire time. I'm really hoping that... I know, it actually makes a huge difference when you're actually trying to stream. Yeah. It's a big deal. I'm going I'm sorry, from... Is your fiber symmetric? I don't know. Okay. I don't... What what okay sorry, what does that mean? Okay, symmetric means that the up, upload and download speeds are the same. Right. Um, well, what I'm doing is I'm going from one fifty down ten up, yeah, to one down seven fifty up. So it's not symmetric, but very very close to symmetric though. That's, one that's, down uh, seven fifty up. Well, one thousand down is if you're really yeah. Yeah, one thousand down, seven seven fifty up. That'll be more than enough. I have nine forty down, nine forty up. Considering considering I've been, you know, the last six years on one fifty down, ten up. I think it'll, I think a seven hundred and fifty time improvement. <laughs> Seventy five times improvement, but okay. <laughs> numbers. Why does everyone care about numbers so much? Jeez. Look, I've been trying to say this for a minute, and I find it funny, because that statement you made now, like, ten minutes ago, I've forgotten. Um, I, that looks really good. Oh, you said something like, I can't wait to see that, or I can't wait for that. And has isn't that just, like, the entire history of Star Citizen? Yes. Yes, for the last is. ten years, it's yeah. looking at things and being like, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. I can't wait. It's just 10 years. Star Citizen, you know in a nutshell, is 10 years of, I can't wait for that. And yet, and well, I shouldn't say and yet. Um, well, this is me in a nutshell. The cool, the really, <laughs> excellent reference. I need to watch that, those movies again. Um, I, I, I did it. I'm actually not even referencing the movie. I'm referencing yes, Disco doing it in Star Citizen Live. That's fair, but. Okay, he's you're referencing disco, referencing Austin Powers. Yes, that's <laughs> Fair correct. <enough. laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the the commodities, the new commodities displays look amazing. I love that. Uh, almost certainly, all the demand figures are going to be are are coming directly from Quantum. Um, so it's it's going to be really cool when all this is up and up and running it's it's uh yeah. but you're right it, it's always the star citizen is always the like look what's over the next hill um and we can the grass is always hills. greener in the next patch hey the next yeah. patch has it, grass it actually it actually yeah. is but yeah, um, <laughs> exactly um one of the cool things that i've sort of realized this year is that the game is to a point now where where you can appreciate a lot of the things that are in the game now, not not just the things that are coming in the future. There's a lot of really cool stuff to see. When we went and explored that cave, and we're in the freaking yeah. blizzard, and we couldn't see where we were going, it was so cool. <laughs> um, and even exploring the cave, it was a little janky, but it was huge, and there was like stuff to pick up down there, and there was a mission down there, even though we couldn't do it. Yep. It was cool. Uh, there's, I like that. It's going to take time, right? But there's... I, I went and did a... And I, I've told this story before, but it's this is, this is one of these Star Citizen moments that has stuck with me. I don't think it's 
it's going to be stuck with me for a long time is I went and did a um, a derelict retrieval, right? And I was like on edge the entire time, even though there was no combat in the mission, because I showed up and got out of my ship and a sandstorm rolled in right as I arrived and like the, the sound ping off my helmet and mm -hmm. like zero visibility and trying to, and I just, I keep just thinking and I don't know how you can do this. And I know that I never would do this, but given quanta, it should eventually happen that you can shoot down a ship. You shoot down a caterpillar. It crash lands on the planet. Which should spawn something like a derelict mission. And then you, knowing where you shot them down, could in theory hide there and wait for someone to come and you know, try and clean up the derelict or salvage it or explore it or whatever... And then attack. Sure. Like, do you I, think? Do you think it will spawn missions, or will they? It just populate the universe with stuff to do without missions. Well, I think it's going to populate the universe with stuff to do. But you shoot them down, right? Derelict caterpillar. You could then create like, because uh, there's going to be like the selling of information, right? You sell the yep. info of this caterpillar oh, is that. here. You could do that, right? And then someone will want to come and deal with that because it's a caliber, yep. caterpillar. That's perfect. And then you hit them, right? Mm -hmm. Like the, there's, creating, there's just this... you're creating a pile of ships on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> I just it's it's the possibilities behind this whole. It's they're they are basically building an insanely large and detailed game around everything that made breath of the wild one of the best games ever made which was all the systems are systems. it's just the systems yep right you throw a torch on the ground the, the grass catches fire it spreads it kills enemies it creates an updraft that you can fly on that's like that's the system Yep. And and CIG are doing the same just on like a huge scale. Uh, uh, they they're like Breath of the Wild did it on like floor 10. CIG are doing it on like floor 570 in scale. Like I don't know. They're just No, they're I hear what a lot you're saying. More. It's um we need we need to start to and, and to sort of illustrate that point like you get, you know, they showed us the beginning parts of what they're thinking about for engineering, right? And how all the systems will be connected together and how some parts of the ship will be working, even if other parts aren't. If they're, if those parts are attached, attached to power and these parts aren't. Um, and, uh, and how, you know, um, things like communications, things like uh, shields, it'll all be... It'll all be proceed, not procedural, uh, systematic. Um, but then somebody was pointing out today at Soul Citizens, like the f w we saw a lot of their development on fire and fire propagation, yep. and like what they're doing with that is like that is that is base level. Like they're doing it from like the physics up almost. So it's like, is this substance hot? Okay. Is this substance flammable? Okay. Then it can burn. Okay, it is burning. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and if you go from that level up, like you get really cool things that can happen, and I'm uh, I'm really excited to see that. I'm I'm now launching into Star Citizen because uh, we're well, done the videos that we have. Um, but yeah, it, it's the systemic systems. I just. It's gonna be good. Yep, but it's a there, there's a reason it's taken so long. It, this is not easy stuff to do. It's extremely difficult. Yeah. Um, but the cool thing is, one of the nice things is when you get there at the end, a lot of gameplay just falls out the end. 
without you having to actually program the gameplay. It yeah. just happens because of the system you made, right? And so things like, you know, this ground base or this ground habitat has communications and power and um, life support and so on and so forth. And you, maybe if you destroy the solar panels at the base, they don't have any power anymore. Then their life support fails and everybody dies. You know, like, <laughs> there's, there's shit like I, that can, can happen. I still... Hey, Knowledge, how's it going? Um, I, can, I still remember way back in those Halcyon days. I sent you a, an invite. Those Halcyon days, the... The idea that you could hide hide in a box, like go to some, get yourself to, or like dropped off at a cargo mission or like a dead ship or something, hide yourself in a cargo crate, get put into someone else's ship in the cargo crate, get out of the ship, kill them and steal their ship. And I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if you're actually going to be able to hide in a cargo crate, which if it I doesn't mean, I, happen, I they can. failed at making the game. Yeah, but um... <laughs> there's my there's my level. I kind of want that to happen to me because it would be such yeah. a weird weird scenario. You remember? Okay, the only proper reference from this is Firefly, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wash. How'd you get on the ship? I don't recall pulling over. <laughs> you know? Oh. Be good times. Um, okay, I do not have an invite right now, but I just got into the main menu. So can you send me another okay. one? I can. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm getting invite failed. You send me one. Okay, invite to party. Waiting response. Got it. Cool. Go. Let's do this. Jump. Uh, Jump us okay. in. What is going you on jump? here? Is it letting you jump in? Uh, no. Oh, good. It will not let me go into the PU right now. Uh, can you go into the PU? Uh, I could, yes. Here, I'm going to leave party. You could. Okay. No, that's from... How do I leave party? Leave party. I'm going to try and invite you again. Invite sent. Okay, there we go. Party created. Now you this try and jump the universe. into the universe. Enter. Done. Much better. It wasn't Wait. giving me the option to load into the universe. It was just giving me the option to customize my character. It's very weird. weird. But you just uh, well, sucked me into the universe, so... Yep. While while we're uh, we're booting this up, does anyone have any questions? Any questions? Anything at best all? Best question being the best question being why are we like this? But I think it's because we've been doing this for like seven years. Yeah, that's a legitimate uh, possibility. Oh my god! Stupid uh, phone. My uh, phone is being stupid. I'm like stuff. Uh, I'm wondering how many other I don't I can't think of any other um podcasts that have been going for I don't know. I'm just I'm just wondering at what point where we are in the like has been going longest list, you know? Um I don't know. I don't know of any that have been running longer. Sup? Hey, how's it going? Nice backpack. That is a big backpack. It's huge, right? I like your cloak. Thank you. Do you like my outfit? It's very turquoise. Very yeah. Okay, turquoise. Let's go, Teal, let's go turquoise. I don't know. Same things. Uh, yes, 42 is the answer. Always. What's what's the question? Yes. 
One thing that they do have to fix is going downstairs. Oh, well, it didn't kill me, so... It's always a plus. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> oh, I hate that. Alright. Do I have a weapon? Yeah, I've got... Uh, Weapons, what are we gonna I got do? magazines. Got... Or I've got a couple of magazines. I should be okay. I put a... No, that one doesn't take that. Oh, let's get on board! Need to be cool! Alright, gonna take a multi-tool with a tractor beam. Important. I don't know how to invite. I'm also really hoping that we get at some point soon the like revamped like community and like party and everything. Because I still don't really know how the party system works or how you add like friends and things. I mean, it's you just go to the um, com link, right? And I also really hope they let us pick up other people with tractor beams at some point. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. That's like Why grief not? intro. You're just asking Tractor for it. Battles. At point. Just asking for it. Yes, that's what I want. So tell me what you want. No. I am zoning into those lights. Oh. Yep. Don't follow them when you get off here. Okay, whose elevator is coming first? Mine. Make sure you look into the elevator to. Um, okay. Are you live over there? Yeah. For me, your elevator was a black void. Oh, yeah, it always is for me. Oh, nice. Always? Always. And you my, actually my, get into it? Yeah, always. My my elevators are always black voids. And I just oh, get nice. in at this point. Yep. You're uh, brave. I've sort of got this... Um, this view of Star Citizen where... Uh, I'll just do that, and if it crashes, I'll just go play something else. And then I don't care that it crashed. Because nothing really Cause matters got, right now. Because you got sucked into a black void? Yeah. Okay, so, are we just going to go on your ship? Yeah, I'm going to grab a something. I like that I can actually see your ships on the screen. That's cool. Oh, can you? Yep. Cool. Uh, Freelancer or Aquila? Well, you'll hate the Aquila, so Freelancer. Oh, I, I do hate the Aquila. I've already tried it. Hangar 4. Is this one a black void for you? That one wasn't, actually. Okay, good. Whoa. Uh, no strays this time. Just because I don't really know how to take on strays. But, um... You know, I think we might do that soon. We're only playing for, like, another half hour-ish. But, uh, I think it might be cool if we find time to, like, devote more than... A half hour here and there to Star Citizen and invite strays and hang out with people more. I think that'd be cool. So. Not this time, but soon, yes. If people if people have, uh, you know, the appetite to play with people who don't know how to play. Yeah. That was uh, pretty funny. 
how do I turn this on? Our off. Wait, that's just off. Wait, are we on? Oh, we are. Okay. Um, oh, my, that's not working. Darn, I didn't turn that thing on. Okay. Oh, that's contracts. What are we going to go do? Um, well, I guess we're pretty kitted out for a bunker mission. Might as well go do one. Um, if I can find one. Defend occupants. Yep, I'm going to do it. There we go. Comlink. Friends. MB International Spaceport. Yes, Ooh, soon. I turned on my stations. I'm oh, hailing the thing. spaceport to open the doors. Oh, you oh, already, I already did, did it. it. Yep. Okay, ship. Do you want to like, cool. move up? Okay, I got a. No, that's the wrong thing. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Give me a second. I hope that doesn't break everything. You may have to mouse wheel up to increase your thrust a little bit. No, some... Oh, that's what it is. There we go. My bad. Oh! <laughs> did I hit something? You sure did. What did <laughs> I hit? Way out. Oh, oops. You didn't go. You didn't go straight out. That was funny. My uh. Uh, and your, your landing gear is down go. currently. There she comes. All right. Oh my god, it's so good. This is a really pretty game. You know that? Yes. I'm I'm doing all exterior view right now, looking at the city with the uh, you know the city lights and everything. Nice. And the stars. This is why I don't want to fly with anyone else yet, because. <laughs> Flying with me is kind of an embarrassment, to be honest. Yeah, well. Star Citizen has a lot of embarrassing moments. I'm getting better. Slowly. You know, learning how to fly. The one thing I will give the Freelancer is that it does have a lot of boost fuel. Which is good. Okay. Where are we going? Empty data center. Come on. And off we go. Whee! Game is just <laughs> stupidly gorgeous. Just stupidly uh, gorgeous. Yep. Yep. Eluk, uh, I've heard that wings are overrated. Also, is the game too loud, or is it good? Let me know if it's too loud. Um, look, most of the ships... Most of the ships in Star Citizen don't have wings, so you should be fine. Freelancer doesn't have wings. It's got, like, I don't know, little... Floops. Floops. Yeah, I like the word floops. Freelancer's got floops. And it flies... Um... Oh, you don't hear the game? Let's do that. <laughs> what? Open fire on the ground. Yeah. See if you can hear it. Good.
Okay, this is a defend occupants, so there should be allied people. Don't shoot them. I don't know Tom Petty. Sorry, El Luke. That's uh, that's not my music. Um... When they fix the rendering bug for the clouds, they're gonna. This game is gonna go from like stupidly pretty to just like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Tom Petty's not my uh, not my scene. Oh, I can see the base coming into view. That's pretty cool. Oh shit, they opened fire on us. I know. Get low. I'm working on it. Yeah, hide behind those rocks. There you go. Set her down right here. Ah, come on. No, you, over, you overshot. I know. I'm just trying to avoid, you know, getting completely... Blasted. Oh, come on. You hunk of junk. Oh, you're about to hit the rock. Oh, oh that was a rock. Me. Damn, that was going so well, too. Who needs who needs wings? Remember our oh, florps? Are clearly, right clearly we don't need them in the freelancer is what we determined. All right. Set her down. Uh, My controls are not working. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're on the ground. Oh, bye. Oh, I've only got 37 shots. I got lots of ammo. Cool. What is the command again for getting into your seat? I can't remember. Hold Y. Oh, there we go. I thought it was just press Y and then I was all confused after that. Da -da -da -da. It's okay, we got this. We're good. Where are you? Well, you ran away without me. Of course. Figured I'd wait on the... Uh... You know, ready to go. Yeah, I got an LMG with like 500 rounds, so. Nice. I'm you good to go. Good. All right, all right. I love that when you, if you hit reload when your gun is full, your player actually like opens up the mag to check if there's ammo in there. Yep. So cool. Okay, here we go. Don't kill the folks in white. Um, oh, I'm you're seeing an a guy enemy. with a cape. Guy with a cape and enemy? Oh, he's down. Okay. Alright. Ally off to the left. Watch down. Another ally there. Why don't we have a I can't mission? Tell. Oh, jeez. Oh, you haven't shared. You didn't share the mission with me. That's what happened. Give me a second. I forgot I have to do that. Let me. Uh, let me do that quickly. Mm -hmm. Contracts um, accepted. Share. You got it. Thank you very much. Cool. Yep. Three hostiles left. All right. It's an ally to the right. Okay. I need to uh, grab a new weapon. Got an enemy. Got him. Two enemies. Yeah, I got, got them both. You have one more on the lower levels, I'm guessing. 
I'll head down there. Yeah, coming. I just need to grab some ammo. Yep, for sure. Dead enemy here. An undersuit. Someone's been here. Dead enemy really on the right. Need, they do need janitors. I'm clear over to here. There's normally no one in there, so... I'll check the back room. Okay. Oh, he might be somewhere in a spawn closet somewhere. Could be, or... We may have just missed the spawn. Yeah, I'll go check upstairs. On my way. Or it could be bugged. Possible. Couldn't, sure. couldn't be bugged. Star Citizen Star doesn't Citizen. have bugs. No bugs. Got him. Nice. Okay. Let's loot. Looting time. Time to loot. I'm going downstairs to loot. Loot, loot, um, loot, 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 and scoot. Actually, while we uh, while we start looting, uh, has anyone out there been watching any of the uh, Summer Games Fest stuff? And have you seen anything you've liked so far? Oh, good question. I'm looting. All right. Uh, it's a looter scooter. They really need uh, one of their first improvements to the looting system needs to be a loot all. Yes. Or loot all that you can fit. <laughs> That, grab oh a boy. rail gun. A Karna like rifle. A rail gun. A Lumen SMG. Rail gun. Sweet. Okay, got the rail gun. Four mags. Sweet. Okay. Not bad. Grabbed a rail gun. Nice. Nice. I'm, uh, so for anyone that doesn't know, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, Nakara and I are going to be streaming the Xbox um, Bethesda showcase that's going to be happening. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's gonna really, be good. Really excited. It's gonna be good. Always is good. Yeah. It, it always is. Oh, oh, oh! Come back here, please. Grab you. I always like having a P4 AR. I find they're just good weapons. Um. Yeah. No. I'm. Um, the Xbox showcases are always really good shows. Um, it's always exciting to see all these things that are coming to Game Pass that are like, yeah, I get to play that, and I don't even have to go out and buy it myself. Yep. And yes, Citizen, I know that we need hover trolleys and a one SCU box, but I don't like that. I don't. I don't believe that that's fun He's gameplay. A stand. And I don't support it, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> And I know that that's ridiculous, and I know that it's dumb, but I I don't like it. So 
I I firmly believe that CIG need to add duffel bags. It can still yes. weigh a lot. It can still be hard to carry. Fine, whatever. But let me just like unfurl a duffel bag and throw one down, and then actually, you know, physically carry it. But it's not loot goblin gameplay. It's it's frustrating loot gameplay. It's not. They're taking. They are literally taking the fun out of loot, in my opinion. Um, looter shooters are Wait, my thing. Like, are we done? Hey, uh, you gotta check What's this up? out. Where are you? Come here. Follow my. Oh, you're upstairs. Phone, okay. Yep. I don't. Looter looter shooters are literally my favorite things. This is my favorite thing in the world right now. Tractor beaming? Yes. Yeah. Boop. Boop. It is it is great. I'm really glad they added that. Um anyway, it's I don't know so what I, good. I, it works so well. I don't know what I was saying. I think I'm just saying that I I love looter shooters. I really like loot. And Star Citizen does not yet have an appropriate way to loot. It doesn't have to be like you know, Borderlands or something. You get a million things and can do whatever you want with it. But they need a better way to do... Oh, I have three guns. Well, I can't put that one away. I just have to drop it. Two is the most I can fit. And I can't fit any in my backpack because... This giant backpack. Look at the size of this backpack. Look at it. Nope. This gun cannot fit inside. Too large. It, it's just... It's unfun. They need a duffel bag. Uh, yeah. I get that architect. I get that a weapon wouldn't physically fit in this backpack. That's why I'm saying... Allow us a duffel bag, something that folds up in your backpack, and then when you've got a bunch of weapons you want to put in, you throw one down. It's long enough for weapons. You can fit, I don't know, four or five weapons in it. Because otherwise, the, like, let's tractor beam. Tell me, is it actually fun to tractor beam 20 individual weapons to the lift? Take the lift up tractor beam the 20 and like it's not fun yeah i want a foldable one scu box is is what i'm saying basically yep here we go and, and that's fine architect that's what i want i'm fine with it being in game and making sense and limiting you to say a pistol when you're carrying a duffel bag completely okay with me I, I'm, I'm not saying we need to be able to store a million weapons on us because it's just... I know that the... It's just the hover trolley... I, I, I get the hover trolley thing, but I only learned literally today where to even buy a backpack. I don't know where to get a trolley. I don't know where... I don't even know where to get the 1SCU box, honestly. Like, it's just... You get it at the, you get it at the, cargo, the cargo stations. I know, but just, I just, like, I get... No, I, under that... I understand, man. I'm not telling you to go get one. I'm just telling you where it is. That's all. I know, I know. I, I just, know. I just want them to simplify some things. You don't have to simplify everything. I get it. You can't. Just, just a couple things, you know? Here. Oh, let's not worry about getting the other guys. Well, let's get this guy. Now that he's in your ship, you can take all your shit off of him and move it to your, your ship's inventory. Good. Yes. But even then, I can't... Like, I have to move it to my inventory uh, first and then move it over. I can't just, like... No, it's... I mean, it shows me the vehicle's inventory, so it should be... Oh, uh, I guess if I click over to vehicles there... Okay, yeah, I, I figured that out. Okay, that's fine. Loading. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. It's it's having fun. Hey, coffee. How's it's it going? Happy. 
Uh, it's just, it's not happy when I move things over. The vehicle inventory oh, sure isn't. Uh... I uh, I had this really funny thing happen where I did the, I did one of those like by myself, and yep. I I took the I took the guy up to my ship and I put him in, and then he glitched through the floor of my ship onto the ground outside. Yep. And then I went to try and get him from outside, and I couldn't, um, because the game was angry that my ship was on top of him. So, I took off on my ship and moved it like five feet, but the thruster blast from my ship knocked him like <laughs> 50 feet away, so I couldn't find him right away. <laughs> nice. It was really funny. <laughs> anyway, oh, I... Man. I think what I'm trying to say is I love and support the, like, realism in gameplay, but I still would like CIG to give us, like, ways f that make sense to still, like, enjoy the gameplay regardless of the realism. I, I don't know. Once we get into space, I'm going to fire that guy out the back of your ship. Okay. Uh, I think this ship is damaged. It is very damaged. Well, it's somewhat damaged. It's missing one wing. Uh, cruise. There we go. Uh, let me take a look. I think it's this. Oh, yeah. That's missing. Yeah, it hit a Fine. rock. Oh, very I should... Um, there we go. Can't wait for them to read um, Thank you guys. Thank you everybody for watching us. I'm having a good time. I I fun. always have good time when we play this. It's it's great. And yeah, thank you for wait, why are you not flying? I thought I said cruise. Did, did, did they mention did anybody in there mention Oh, there isn't a hover trolley yet. Okay. No. It, so is there a trolley at all that you can get? I think That's you can question, get one somewhere. Out. If I there is one, find I want to know where it is. Yeah. I know where to get the one SCU, SCU box. And I will bring one next time, just because I want to try out, like, loading up the box with tons of crap. Yeah, we should. Next um, week, we'll figure that out. Let me know when you're in space. We're at 9,000-ish. Almost there, then. Give, give me a minute, because I want to watch it. Yeah, for sure. I thought you were just gonna Trolley's hit F four and then watch it. Okay. Watch the guy fly out the back of your ship. <laughs> yeah, I am. Right. Ready to go. We're in space. All right. Cool. I'm going back. I have armed myself with my tractor beam. Excellent. And I'm opening the door. How do I open the door? I guess a trolley would fit in a freelancer, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, no problem. This is so cool. Like, the fact that I can sit here and watch you walking around in the back of my space. Oh, whoa. He, <laughs> he, like, fucking, he like fucking Where the it away. Where did he go? Whoa, man. <laughs> he bloody disappeared. It's funny, because you were still, you're still like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess as soon as he <laughs> fucking vanished, man. Yeah. Oh my god, that was hilarious. That was great. Okay, let's find that. There's the security center. There we go. I closed the the hatch. Cool. That's good because we're Q twoing. To another one of these. Q2ing, eh? Wow. Q2, yeah. Oh, Share. I probably shouldn't open that. Don't fall out. I just opened one of the one of the roof airlocks. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I was I was trying to find the turret. Oh, there's the turret. I got it. I'm jumping in your turret. Oh god, I love how this looks. Like this right here. I'm just going to hit print screen. Look at that. 
the sun through the atmosphere. Ah. So good. So good. Okay, let me just... Let me flip right side Powering up. on your turret? All right, has anyone even shot your turret before? I don't think so. Look oh. at that. Here I am. Oh. It's just gorgeous. Okay, where are we going? Um, sorry. Distracted by the beauty of this stupid game. Hey, later sit later tip. Have a good one. Yes. I, uh, I really hope you join us tomorrow for the Xbox Bethesda thing. So bloody excited. Um, I think it's going to be good. We should be able to... We should see Starfield and Redfall. Um, yeah. Both of those games are due out uh, early next year. And a lot of Game Pass. I, th I think they've been very quiet about what's coming to Game Pass. And there's been a lot of people the last couple... Like the last month especially... Uh, since they delayed Starfield, a lot of people have been like, there's no point to having Game Pass. I'm going to cancel my Game Pass because I suck. Um, well, I mean, it's it's a it's a valid way to deal with it, but uh, I, I sort of think that we speak with our wallets and you well, put money to support the things that you want to do well. I mean that that's totally fair if the if there's nothing on Game Pass that that person wanted to play and they only wanted to get like a new game fine whatever but you really should look at the catalog of Game Pass before you cancel cuz there's a lot of stuff to play on there there's yeah. so many things I want to play on there that I haven't had time to get to yet So work Okay on. this is this one's probably also going to shoot at us but um Don't shoot at it why not? Well, because... It's going to shoot us. I hate... Hey, there's even night... a turret there. I hate night landings. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's oh. shooting at us. Come on, come on. I cannot see a goddamn thing. Jesus. Uh... Oh, jeez. Why do you have so come much on. forward momentum? Stop your forward momentum, man. I'm trying. You're down. Hey, look. That was a good landing. Are you, are you just destroying the turret? Is it dead? I heard an explosion. Cool. But I didn't really see, it, see anything. Well, let's go kill some dudes in a bunker. Sounds good. I'm just uh, jumping out of the turret right now. Uh, T for torch? Yes, T for torch. Like, look at... This... It's, like, accurate. You can't see a thing. But, oh, look, the sky is, is like, oh, lit no. up. What? Can you tell me what's going on in the gar cargo bay of your ship? N nothing? Because it's Nothing. stuck at all line. It just keeps saying aligning, 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 aligning. Uh, like it's... nothing's happening. Can you look up at the turret, Bay? I'm trying. Yeah, I don't see anything that I can do. Uh, okay. Let me try and close this, maybe. Can you get out? Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can actually. I thought that it would actually like spit me out, but I have to actually go to exit. I thought the aligning thing would stop, but apparently not. Okay, we're good. Cool. Hello. <laughs> okay, I hope everyone on stream got that because that was great. Your legs what like happened? full. Your legs folded up and back under you as the the chair started to go back up, but you were still like <laughs> technically on it. Nice. Scourge Night Stalker Railgun. Okay. So I'm gonna use this on an enemy in here, right? Is what I'm yeah. is what I'm hearing. Okay, Definitely. you're gonna have to cover me while this happens. You don't need legs to live, right? Okay, take yeah. us down. Oh, that's quite the real gun. 
Isn't it? Wow. It's a large weapon. That's a very large weapon. Whoa. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, give me a second. I gotta try this on someone. I don't know if it has like a spin up time or what. Probably. Okay, those are those are friendlies. Those are all friendlies. Lots of friendlies. Yeah. That's another an enemy. friendly here. An enemy off to the right. I gotta try and hit him before. Get him. Oh. <laughs> He disappeared. Oh, there's like three, two of them there. Woo. Oh, I almost stepped in front of that. Don't you step in front of it. Folks. Don't step in front of it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you good? Yep. Sweet. Okay. That guy was in like heavy armor too. I think we're probably looking at downstairs. Going to check this guy for some. Uh... Ooh, he has one right on his belt. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you having fun over there? Oh, damn it! I'm dead. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wonder, can I fix you? No, you're just I mean, dead, I've, dead, eh? I, no, I'm, in, in, I'm incapacitated, but I've also got a crime stat. Um, you can still, you can still fix me. Okay, just give me a second. Apparently, if you shoot an enemy with a railgun and there's a friendly person right beside them, the splash damage hurts the friendly person... And they now hate you. Oh shit! I'm getting shot. Oh, I'm trying to retreat here. I'm down again. I think I got him. Yeah, though. just a second. You did get him. Okay. Yeah, I got him. Uh, okay, I'm down though. I know. I'm coming. Oh, I'm like Why in it down. Oh. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I was in like a down state 80... where I could still. You're at 86 percent health. Yeah, I can't get up or do anything though. You are up now. I am not. Not on my. That's funny because oh. on my screen you're up. Nope. I Maybe am. If I heal I'm you, down. Give me a second. Woo. Stop moving. Woo. I'm not moving. I'm. Oh my god, you're moving a lot of my screen. <laughs> Tier 3 treatment required to your head. <laughs> yeah. I've got a Tier 2 crime stat. Can I pay off Tier 2? I don't know what level I can pay off. Yeah, Q and E do nothing. Nope, I'm stuck. Um... I have a bunch of meds here. I'm going to see if one of these will help. Oh, I can... I can shoot. <laughs> I can shoot straight. Uh, can I change my weapons? No, I can't. I can turn my flashlight on and off. Hmm. Uh, good glitch. <laughs> I don't even care. Like, look, we're we're like this Shit. to me. How do you how do you heal yourself with this thing? B. B. Thank you. Woo! I was down to uh, like two percent health. Oh, oh boy, that was close. We're we're at like. We're at the point where we're at the, end, we're at the end of the show. Oh, oh, okay. They just killed me, and now I'm incapacitated. Oh yeah, now you're down again. Let's see if I can <laughs> get you back this time. You keep resing me. They keep killing me. Uh, 
Um, Back to 86% health again. I'm up. Yep, there you go. You're up. Sweet. We did it. So we just have to kill you again if you if that happens again. Got it. I mean, we're, we're going to have to kill me again anyway because the enemy hate me. Or the, the AI hate me. Wait, are you good or bad? Right. You're bad. Objective complete, don't harm... Hang on. Objective complete, don't harm allies, but yeah, I'm wanted... <laughs> I'm wanted for hanging... For harming out CIG. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry, but... I love your game, but... <laughs> Come on. What's the matter with this? What's the matter with you? That's amazing. Oh, I love this, it. uh... This box is not loading. <laughs> Alright. I think... I think this server might be, um... Getting old. And speaking of getting old... Um... I'm tired. Really? Yep. I don't know about you, but I would like to, uh... Leave? Quit and go to bed. Yeah. Sounds I'm, good. Great. I mean, I'm now... Out of here. I, I'm wanted. Um, actually, I will be right back. I need... I'm just tooling around, uh, looting a bunch of corpses for ammo and uh, medical supplies and helmets. These helmets are fun to loot. Do -do -do -do. I mean, helmets are basically the only thing you can loot. It's the only thing you can fit in your backpack. Yep. I'm, I'm not giving up on this one. Sorry, guys. Yeah. That's fun. Sagrath, exactly that. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Okay, this guy's gonna try and kill me. You sure? If he sees oh yeah. I'm wanted, two star. That's that's shoot on sight. Not if yep. I have anything to say about it. No, I'm dead. I was Where trying <laughs> in the in the oh, you're down there basement all right i'll come get you again no i'm fully dead he just shot me full dead she comes with my backpack yeah. though it's yours oh you Take just, it. you just van you just vanished wait what like my corpse yeah, isn't even you... there no it's gone how am i supposed to get my stuff if my corpse is gone you can't. That's poop. How am I supposed <laughs> to go back and revive my corpse? Okay, can anyone tell me if I can pay off level 2 crime stat or if I have to go do the stupid... It's not stupid, it's fun. Oh no, I'm actually in Clusher. Okay, I haven't been in Clusher in a long time. I will actually do this next time. I, I've I haven't mined before. I've never hand mined, so I'm I'm gonna try and hand mine. I enjoy, I enjoyed uh, earning my way out of prison. It was fun. Oh, okay, that's a good point. Sargreth says that uh, because I've gone to jail, I get my stuff back on release. Ooh, nice. So that's that's probably why it disappeared. That's a good point. Wonder Thank if you, I Sargreth. can. I wonder if I can steal your freelancer. 
Probably. I can't wait until you can, like, actually steal my Freelancer and then just have it. Give it back to you? No. <laughs> Projected time until release, 40 minutes. That's not bad. Inmate processing. I know there's somewhere to start working for your release. Where is that? Is that over here? Work mines. There we go. They call it a mine. A mine! Do I have to pay to get a tool to mine for them? But I can't... I can't get one. I'm confused. Oh, I start with one. Ah, I'm dumb. Yeah, I don't think you... I don't remember having to do that, so... Um... Hey, did everyone see there's... In 20... Next year, there's... Uh, as one of the things announced in Summer Games Fest, there's Lord of the Rings um, Mines of Moria or something. I don't actually know what it's called. But they're coming out with, like, a, a Valheim survival type game but Lord of the Rings and Dwarves I'm so excited for that I think that's great it'd be awesome I'm I'm so so excited for that and you get to build yourself like a little dwarf uh, hangout city thing I don't know I love it okay I always have the problem here of never being able to figure out what you can mine. Is that like a... No, it's that? it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. You often have to go quite deep in the mine to get the stuff. Oh. And it is, but it is pretty... Oh, um, if you use the... If you right-click on the thing, it, yeah, it goes on, like, scanning mode. And you can... It lights up the rocks that you can mine. Okay. So you don't have to, like, just get, like visually guess you can scan the rock with the with the device the who's and what's it yep oh but i keep the who's a ma what's it yeah i keep hitting dead ends though you should probably go to the live ends you know i love the low gravity so I have your freelancer. I'm gonna take it back to Port Olisar, or not Port Olisar, uh, to New Babbage. Can you like show up to Clesher and break me out? Does that work? I can't break you out, but once you do need to have somebody on the outside if you do escape, instead okay. of working your for your release. <clears throat> It'd be cooler if you could if you... break me out. If you escape, you have to have somebody there with a ship. So that's a kind of a cool team play thing. It'd be really funny if I could break in and get you out. Blow down the doors with the uh, How do I mine turret this? on the freelancer. <laughs> oh, there we go. Do -do -do -do. And I have to get it into those lines on the left, right? You haven't done much mining, have you? Yeah. I have not. This will, be a learning, this will be a learning experience for you. You want to get it into the, oh, the oh, green oh, no, zone. No, down, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> down, down, down. <laughs> oh, man.
Oh, this is finicky. That's mining for you. Oh boy, trying to fly your uh, your your broke ass freelancer in in atmosphere with the wing <laughs> missing is interesting, man. Yeah, see what see. I thought I was doing a good job landing. Well, you landed and you didn't blow up, so I'm going to give you props. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Grabbing some aphorite. Okay, we're going to do a test here. I found my way in. Oh, okay. I found my way in. Oh, there's some more. Uh, when I started, I had 40 minutes. I found my way deep into the mines. I've mined one thing of aphorite. Go to the thing I'm and gonna see go... what you get for him. Oh, there's a bunch of dead guys here. Oh, nice. Naked dead guys. Huh. Sucks to be them. Uh, it three? sounds like it. Exit. Okay, that is exit. Time for the test. I need to see oh, how much Oh, that's funny. What's that? That's something we'll have to fix in the future. <laughs> um, because you have a crime stat, it won't let me land your freelancer at uh, New Babbage. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. I'm just going to land <laughs> on the ground and run inside. Yeah. <laughs> that's not great. But, you know, uh, we'll it's, fix it. it's understandable, but... <laughs> I mean, it's not. Like, why is my crime stat tied to my freelancer? It should be tied to me? Question yeah, mark? I don't, think, I don't think that it's uh, broken out yet properly. Yeah, clearly not. Okay, here we go. Drop material deposit. Click to start. Aphorite. Aphorite's only 60 merits? Yeah, the deeper How you go I... in the mine, the the deeper you go in the mine, the more uh, valuable the I... minerals become. How do I even? I don't even know how to drop. Wait, did I get them? Oh, the inventory here is not happy. My inventory doesn't load. Hey, Riker, how's it going? Yeah, my inventory doesn't load anymore. Yeah, the server's having trouble, obviously. Yes, it is. This server's having a fun time. All right, well, it's 1040. That's, uh, that's normally the end for us. It's past normally the end for us, so we're... Uh, oh. You may be happy to know that I got your freelancer on the ground. Excellent. I'm glad. Uh doing doing not too bad, Raker. Uh unfortunately we're gonna we're we're just about to, to shut down, but um you know. It's late. I'm tired. I've had a couple beer. It's but, fine. But come back tomorrow. At 1 p.m. Eastern, actually probably a little bit before, probably like 12.30 Eastern, uh, we're going to do a restream of the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. We might also do a restream of the PC Gamer Showcase after that. We'll see how, how things go. That one's normally a bit of a nightmare, but we'll see. And then uh, uh, Tuesday, <laughs> we might just play some more Star Citizen Tuesday. I'm hoping. And then uh, come back Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern for more of whatever this was. And uh, we'll, we'll, you know, keep um, on keeping on. So guess yeah. what happened? 
What's that? I got out of your freelancer. Yep. And fell through the planet. <laughs> yep, this server's had uh, had its day. Uh, glad to hear it, Riker. Hope you can make it. Um, look forward to seeing everyone. Really hope you've all had uh, good time and good weekends and stay safe. And uh, I I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm really tired. Um, just, uh, you know, have a good one. Come join us. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, thank you for... Oh, I accidentally moved that. I shouldn't have moved that. There it is. Uh, thanks, thank you for watching. Join us either tomorrow or Tuesday or next Saturday. Just, uh, you know, come on back and... Uh... Thanks, Sargareth. You're too, you're too good. Thank you all. Love you all. Stay safe. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, Shivers should be back next weekend. Uh, if we he's hope he comes back too. He's, uh, I mean, he had a 15-hour flight, and uh, it takes a while to recover from a 15-hour flight we're in, in the best of times, and we're not in the best of times to be flying, so, uh, but he'll be back. Um, yeah. Thank you, everyone.